Hey friends, welcome back to our channel. My name is Sami. I appeared in IIMAT 2023 and achieved 46.2 marks in IIMAT. So today I'm going to explain you how to study for biology section of IIMAT. As you all know that IIMAT is our international test that we need to pass in order to get admission in uh, MBBS uh, medicine and surgery in Italian university. So I am today I'm going to explain you how to actually prepare for biology. What are the most important topic what are the most we teach um, consisting topic that you need to study for arm biology so this is going to be a series in which i am will be explaining how to study for each subject of uh, arm uh, so just uh, stick with me and you will get updates about all of the videos i will explain how to study for physics how to study for biology how to study for chemistry how to study for logical reasoning and how to study for uh, general knowledge but today this video is specifically on how to study for biology as you all Know that I'm a as parents find very very hard to actually start studies of biology or each and every section so the basic purpose of uh, this class or this video is going to be how actually you should start and what are the things that you need to focus uh, during your biology studies uh, for I met so I would say as you all know that biology section of IMAT is the most weighted section like it is around about half of the IMAT portion like there are 60 questions in IMAT uh, only the solely uh, the biology covers 23 questions so it means that if you had got very good grip on uh, biology section then you are going to achieve uh, most awesome marks so and the best thing about this um, IMAT biology section is that IMAT biology is pretty easiest as compared to other subjects it is not a myth it is actually a truth uh, i mean biology is easiest I, anyway biology is easiest i found it easy and i believe that most of the students find it easy to study so uh, i don't know i don't know if uh, you are finding it hard then maybe there's a problem you need to actually find hard for chemistry chemistry or physics section but biology is the easier so you all know that biology is very very lengthy in IMAT so it means that if you are going to start preparation then you need to be frequently and you need to spend most of your time on biology so first of all let's talk about how you are going to start your biology preparation so this is like very easy you need to follow the syllabus just look at syllabus and whatever the chapters are mentioned you need to study according to your high school so biology in biology you just need information i can i can say that if you have more information more knowledge in biology then you are going to get the most great marks that's the phrase and this is also true that the more you will study the less you would have studied I'm going to repeat again the more you will study the less you would study it the more you study the less you would study it I don't know you have understand uh, or not but like this is the longest section so you just need to focus on each and everything just focus like there is I, I would say at my in my time I was reading biology textbooks again and again so this is the basic rule just highlight the topics from uh, syllabus and read them frequently like if you are starting from uh, you have got four to five months then i would say five four to five you should read or revise your uh, biology section four to five times and there is how where from where you are would be revising how you would be revising so let's come to this point now you have started studying i would say first of all your concept would be weak for biology there is no actually uh, concepts in biology although there is some like in genetics you have got some pedigree analysis and you just need to find some uh, you need to draw some punit boxes uh, and there is like uh, yeah there is crosses actually there is no any other thing that you need to uh, uh, there is no any other conceptual thing so biology is mostly based on uh, information and knowledge so what you are going to do just start with lectures first of all find a best and good tutor for your uh, for lectures attempt the lecture and then write down all of the points that the tutor or the teacher has told you on your register or your notebook and then go to home 
or just if you are at home learning online from me like there are tons of youtube uh, channels or youtube teachers that are like best um, i would say follow khan academy if you want to follow free resources khan academy m code m cat course is the best for biology just go there that is the deepest section and that is the deepest course i did not uh, like watch it i was using lecterio for it but that is the like if you are looking for free option then khan academy is the best but if you want to go for premium then i would say just go for lecterio m cat course that is the most detailed and it is in english so if you want to like if you have a good teacher for Uh, explanation of uh, high school biology then find it uh, as in your home language or what is the national language uh, you are speaking so that it is it could be in easy for you to understand um, but uh, then then after taking lecture write down each and everything just go home or then open your pearson book if you are following pearson book or there is no solid reason that you need to follow pearson book you can follow your high school book it like you are used to used to with do those books so i would recommend just open your high school books and for example you are going to study today cell biology just open cell biology and read it and if there is any missing point from the lecture notes try to put it in your notes and now you have got solid thing in your hand and sol- solid guide now you do not need to look at any other resources online you do not need to ask for any student hey dude you have got any uh, book or any best recommendation or short notes no you are not going to ask anybody you have anything cooked at your hands now you just need to pick up spoon and just you need to eat so what you are going to do just read those notes again and again four to five times that the, that was the thing i did and i know that i achieved most of my marks where i marked most of the correct options in our biology section that was the easiest easiest and this is you have got enough information you are getting high marks that's just that's done so now i would say the most topic that you need to focus on genetics is the main thing like you need to you can you can be able to draw classes you can able to analyze per degrees is it uh, like dominant trait it is excellent dominant is it uh, autosomal dominant or it is autosomal recessive whatever the uh, sequence going on you can like withdraw from the pedigree given that's the one thing i am going to ask and then you can analyze each and everything using pinot scales like that's the uh, morgan laws uh, sorry George, uh, sorry morgan i'm saying morgan although morgan has some uh, crosses on drosophila you need to understand them but there was pinot scale from mendel laws that you can draw actually mono hybrid crosses then di hybrid cross mono hybrid are going to be like very great uh, uh like that's that's the key points um, that's the key thing that you are going to need to learn mono hybrid crosses uh, from where you are going to analyze all of the blood uh, abo blood uh, group uh, systems uh, if you given any mcq uh, mcqs in exam you are going to analyze by that but no genetics is the important biological molecules are the important and phys- physio i would say physiology and anatomy is just a knowledge that you need to under uh, yes you need to revise it again and again so that each and everything is stored in your mind uh, in your brain for example in muscle section uh, he is going to ask you uh, what is actin what is myosin and when does like cross bridges form is it during uh, ca positive secretion calcium and secretion or is it uh, like during uh, atp uh, breakdown or hydrolysis hydrolysis of atp like, this is all about information for example in heart chapter uh, in heart the the examiner is going to ask you for example you need to actually know that what is the most strongest or most uh, thickest auricle in our heart chamber uh, among your heart chambers and what is pulmonary, pulmonary circulation uh, for example what time is it take from as a signal travel from as a node to av node like there is 1.5 uh, second delay that you need to learn so this is all general information uh, based on knowledge that you just need to like revise it again and again and again from textbooks from your notes these would be two key resources for you nothing else if i say that 
this, if you do not follow these two formula thing then you would be wasting your time so just believe that your time is more worth than any other gossip thing or whatever the thing is so this was the thing now you are like preparing uh, during your whatever uh, for example you have got five months and you have started uh, in two months you are taking lectures and uh, revising uh, taking lectures now revision, revision has not come yet you have do, uh, done revision and in order to get idea how i am at uh, is going to ask you question i would suggest solve i am at past papers from 2, 2011 till 2023 2024 2025 whichever year you are going to take just solve at least i would say before your preparation at least one paper you should solve there are like uh, previously there were 18 questions so just solve 18 questions and get an idea you will understand that how deep information is going to uh, how deep information examiner is going to ask you need to understand DNA, what are purines, what are uh, what are pyrimidines, how many bonds can A um, like uh, between adenine and thiamine uh, form, forms actually AG form between um, how many bonds are forming between A and G, USL and uh, cytosine, how many form, bond forms and what is the energy released by one ATP, how many ATPs are being produced in Mm, Krebs cycle how many ATPs are produced being produced in uh, glycolysis how many ATPs are actually going to generate from one glucose molecule in eukaryotes and how many ATPs are going to generate from prokaryotes so this is all the information that you need to understand and now along the way I would suggest you just find a good uh, question series or question bank uh, it could be in your uh, do you do not need to find uh, solve any specific uh, any specific uh, IMA related question bank at this time you just need to solve any good um, uh, MCQs bank from your uh, from your high school like that is related in your uh, that is in your country maybe if you are Indian uh, it could be uh, like uh, related to need if you are from Pakistan, it could be related to MDGAT. If you are from uh, USA, Canada, Australia, it could be related to uh, MCAT. So just find a best publisher or from best author uh, question bank and solve them. The information is so same all around the globe. Do not look for a specific related question bank. That's the biggest problem and most of the students get scammed by this phrase we are looking for um, specific related questions you are not going to find if you found it there would be one or two banks that i i would say do not get involved in these uh, scammy things people will sell you like this is the best thing uh, related to armor you need to prepare just give me like 15 dollars uh, $14, uh, $20 and that's it. You are not going to get uh, um, yeah, why I'm stressing on these things. I do not need to be like that person. Uh, I'm just like informing you be aware of that and just focus on the resources that you have got from your national level. If whatever the strong question bank in your in, uh, national um, uh, in your high school or in your national admission entry test for medicine colleges has just follow that and prepare along the way now in, in your initial phase so now when you come to mid now you are in the mid section like now you have prepared notes now first uh, like you have done your all the preparation you have taken lectures notes are done syllabus is completed now you need to focus on PMAT or AMAT related questions or series whatever the following uh, actually you need to follow BMAT BMAT and AMAT was similar in previous year both were uh, conducted by Cambridge and that was the organization that were making questions so that was uh, these were questions were pretty same so just just follow uh, BMAT questions or AMAT there is well like one uh, uh, question bank of AMAT from uh, ultimate Ahmed guide um, like it is Rohan Agarwal and I think Alex uh, I do not remember the surname uh, these were the author that uh, made it but when I saw BMAT questions of that same uh, author and I get amazed that 
both were same but with different name so this is how you get scammed they are making they were they are just making money and you are getting scammed so be aware of that do not look for question bank just follow ahmed uh, be just be follow be met uh, question bank there is something uh, like i will uh, list a book here or here uh, i do not remember the um, uh, author name that is bmat 700 and bmat 400 question both are actually the same uh, just follow bmat 700 book uh, because 400 has got same question from 700 so just getting scamming thing so just follow 700 but that is amazing just follow that and i would I, I will actually put a link uh, to that book uh, in a description you can look at that and that is the good book i found it very healthy they um, their mcqs are like a little bit um, good like good uh, conceptual and tricky tricky mcqs so just uh, i would suggest just follow that and now you are solving questions and this is the stage mid section mid time mid time where you are going to revise your notes again and now you are done with this thing just move on to the third and the final level where you are going to revise your notes again and you are going to solve most of the bmat papers and amat past papers now from uh, i think bmat was conducted in 2003 initially and i met in 2011 so 2011 to 2023 or 2024 wherever you are taking and we met from 20 um, 2003 till now where whenever you are taking you are going to solve the questions now the option is how you will get to know that you, whatever the first you have solved this is right so there is a solution i will post all of the uh, question answers on my site samikamal.com you can go to the samikamal.com and i will list each and every question 20 uh, 2003 till now and uh, for bman and 2011 till 20 uh, 23 uh, or 2024 2025 wherever whenever you're taking i will list all of the questions on my site with solutions with explanation actually what formula you are going to use each and everything so just go there or you can just copy the question and put it in in google and just search uh, in last add samikamar or samikamar.com whatever the phrase you want to add and uh, there will be like proper sequence on website although some question like will get messed up so i would say just just copy uh, i i will categorize each and everything just search it and you will get the answer and this will be absolutely free i will not be going to charge any money and nothing at all see this is how you are going to pay for biology and i hope i have cleared everything you need to focus on majority topics that is and now if you do not understand syllabus then go in my youtube playlist there will be playlist of armored syllabus master classes where i have explained uh, all of the armored syllabus for biology chemistry physics maths you are, you can just go there and uh, watch it that are pretty long videos 1.2 hours 1.3 hours that will help you to understand syllabus so that you can prepare according to it just go on my, uh, my channel and search it and if you are i'm an aspirant then good luck for you and what i told you just follow that and if you want to look how to prepare notes then there will be like example of my notes uh, sitting in a video description go ahead or just uh, search it if you do not find link just uh, search it sami um, kamar.com i'm at notes or sami kamar i'm at notes i'm at handwritten whatever the first you want to search just go and search it and download it absolutely free no money no money no money why i always say that no money yeah i i'm just getting bored of it so uh just uh start your preparation and good luck for your armet exam and see you in next video and if you are new here then you might love to check out this video over here which is my armet uh second brain in notion where where, where you are going to see that how to solve armet questions uh sorry how to take armet notes and all that stuff so thank you for watching see you in next video till bye bye subscribe to the channel